Hi, hello, welcome to another 20 Minutes Till Dawn video. It's me, Cranberry. How's it going? Hopefully you're having a good one here today. Uh, a couple things I want to talk about before we get into the actual run here. Uh, I'll try to make it quick because I don't want to waste too much time. Uh, someone mentioned recently in a video, and I forget who it was, I'm sorry. Whoever you were, thank you for doing this. Someone mentioned that the audio seemed a little bit off in my videos recently. Um, the game audio was a little too loud, and my voice was a little too low comparatively. So, made a little adjustment. I would love some feedback. Tell me how you feel about it. Do you think it's too much of a difference? What do you think of how it is now? Uh, let me know. Uh, and if you ever notice any audio, visual, any issues, please, you know... Please tell me. Please let me know. Don't think that it's embarrassing to let me know. Like, I want to make the videos as good as possible. So, yeah. Uh, second thing. Second thing. Um, thank you for not uh, stoning me to death after uh, asking for you to subscribe at the beginning of the video. I appreciate that. But I realize it's a little selfish of me to, uh, you know, ask for you to subscribe. And, you know, you get effectively nothing in return. I guess. I don't know. You could, you could consider maybe the subscription something in return because you get this, you know see when I upload videos or whatever but anyway point being I want to do something I want to do some sort of uh, milestone event so uh, when we hit a thousand subscribers we're gonna do something I'm, I'm thinking right now I want to do maybe like a YouTube live stream I've done a couple live streams over at twitch before done plenty of them I haven't been doing them much lately but I have not done a YouTube stream so something I'm kind of interested in um, I don't know what we'll do Maybe we'll do some sort of like quote unquote marathon style event where it's like, uh, you know, I have to win with every gun on Darkness 15 before the stream can end or something. I don't I don't know. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. Would love feedback on that as well. But anyway, sorry about that. Let's play the game. Uh, subscribe or else. Um, <laughs> so today we're going to be playing Diamond. We're going to be playing with a grenade launcher. Uh, we're going to be playing... Basically, pretty similar build to the shotgun. We're going to try to hold off as long as we can on piercing shots because the piercing shots will lower our single target DPS quite a bit. So for things like the dog, it's a little scary to have a lot of piercing shots. But, um, so we're going to be, we're going to be just, you know, being very tanky with diamond, hopefully buffering ourselves when we accidentally hit ourselves with the explosive grenades and then eventually transitioning into more of like a shotgun style build where the shots will pierce and they'll explode hopefully killing the enemies in the back but we'll, we'll be shooting so much and with such high bullet damage that even though the piercing shots are piercing they will still kill things pretty quickly that's that's the idea at least we'll see how things go um as far as the actual build here we're gonna, gonna we're gonna go on the sword side take power Close combat, glass cannon, and I'm opting for cadence here instead of ethereal. I've noticed that with the 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 quality of life change to uh, reloading, that ethereal feels less impactful because I just all the time just stop and reload without without thinking about it too much. So this feels like it's a lot like you know less important now, if that makes sense. Obviously, if you're if you're smart enough to actually look at your ammo and see that you are shooting infinitely, you can take advantage of it more, but I feel like half the times so I don't even realize that ethereal is happening because of the fact that, you know, I'm just shooting. But anyway, whatever, whatever. Uh, we're, we're playing Cadence here. Over on the shield side, we're taking Courage for some uh, enemy knockback. Seismic Ward for enemy knockback as well. Again, with the grenade, we want people not that close to us. Uh, healing, because we're Diamond. Healing is pretty good. I think it's better than Blessing. But, you know, debatable. And then, listen, everyone loves growth. That out of the way, let's let's get in there. We'll see how it goes. Now, oh, I should have mentioned this before too, actually. But now that we're in the actual video, let's talk about this instead. So, someone on the, uh, the elemental uh, flame cannon build I did the other day. Someone, someone said something along the lines of... Uh, Hey, good video. Really enjoyed it. I do wish that you did cut out the first run where you lost though, because by the way, spoilers for the uh, for the Spark Flame Cannon video, I died against the reindeer pretty early. What do we want? What do we, what do we want here? Let's think. Let's think for a second. Regeneration's good. Holy Shield is good, but I think I'm a double shot a gamer. I think here, so let's take this. Um. So someone someone said like hey like the video very cool 
I do wish you cut out the uh, first run where I died in like five minutes, which is interesting. Um, oh man, what do we take here? I think we're supposed to take quick hands. Don't don't love these. I don't know. We'll take quick hands. We'll see what happens. But yeah, someone was like, "Hey, I wish you uh, had take cut out the, uh, the 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 run where you lost." And I and I understand. You know, people want to watch these videos mainly to see like cool shit happen, right? They want to see like you know really good builds where like you know we're killing you know the entire screen and no one's getting anywhere even close to me and stuff like that. I understand wanting that, but on the other hand. It feels like scummy is not the right word for it, but it, it does feel a little bit dishonest to only show videos where I win the game, right? Like I, I think people, I think people watching this maybe want to like get an actual genuine idea of how strong certain weapons are, right? And despite my, you know, maybe somewhat clickbaity titles about, uh, you know, is is flame cannon the strongest elemental weapon in the game, etc. Stuff like that, right? I think people do want to actually like try to determine that. So I think only showing the high rolls doesn't do a good job of that. I feel like so. I don't know. I, I again, I'm asking for a lot of feedback this episode. Please, you know, if you don't, <laughs> if you don't want to comment, you're not forced to. But I'm I am curious about. Uh, you know, other people's interpretation of that, right? Like, is it, is it, you know, dishonest to only show wins? Do people understand, is there a middle ground we can find here, right? Because another part of it too, and the, the issue, the big issue I think is that if every single one of my episodes is a win, then you know at the you, it's a foregone conclusion. You know at the end of the video I'm gonna win the run. There's no there's no you know anticipation. There's no I don't know variation, right? It's just it's just oh well you know he's playing the grenade launcher. I know how the end of this run's gonna go. It's gonna be him with a just a, a circle of explosions all around him and no one getting even close to him, right? Which is cool to see maybe once or twice, but like you know. I imagine after a little while that would get pretty boring. So you know, it, I feel like it's it's not a, a simple. It should. It's probably not a simple. Yes, cut all losses or no, only show wins. There's probably some sort of like you know, middle ground solution here. I feel like, but I don't know. Maybe. Maybe something along the lines of uh, at the start of video saying, hey, attempt number seven, attempt number eight of trying this stupid grenade launcher build, right? Or something something along those lines, right? Um, so people can get a sense of, you know, how well it went. Or maybe like, you know, I record all of the runs, wins and losses, and then <laughs> at the end of the video, I show like a blooper reel of me just getting absolutely murked beforehand i don't know i wouldn't i wouldn't mind you know these 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 edit these, these videos are pretty bare bones when it comes to editing but i wouldn't mind the slight amount of editing required to like do something like that at the end of each video that wouldn't be a problem these all i feel like are not that good here but maybe maybe we should try magic lens here i i did kind of sleep on magic lens and it was really good in the in the bat gun build so maybe it'll be good in the grenade launcher build too who knows right um, thank you, grenades. But yeah. I don't know, I, I got nothing else to say about it, I suppose, right? Well, that's weird, it increases the bullet size too, which is interesting. And a little bit scary, the magic lens. Something to keep in mind. I feel like that's gonna end up biting me in the ass because I'm not gonna realize that the explosion is too big and it's gonna hurt me. But like, you know, we're diamonds for a reason. Take aim is going to be pretty useful in the once we get some piercing shots in the mix. So let's take that. The the shot speed's pretty important. Um, but yeah, I don't know. How you doing? I, I think I asked at the start how your day was, but you know, 
Hopefully you're having a good one. I'm trying to think of how my day was. Pretty, pretty uneventful so far. Woke up, went to work. Uh, started recording, ate some fried chicken, and that's that's it. Yeah, that that's that's it. Nothing, nothing too exciting. Not nothing too interesting. Listen, I know, I know, I know the the B story and the Jacream story might paint my life as being just constantly just full of you know intrigue. And excitement, but you know, most like most people just day to day has been pretty boring. Not too much going on. Um, if you didn't hear the beast story, at, right? I work I work for a hotel. I work in the activities department, and I handle a lot of I handle a lot of their like sort of extreme is not the right word for it. But I handle a lot of their like sort of various outdoorsy activities that the hotel runs. Also, oh god. Please, dear, please, dear. No, dear. Okay, deer's dead. Whew. That was scary. Um. Tome of Rage is kind of interesting. I don't know. This, the, the, I don't think we want it. I think, so here's the thing, right? The triple base max ammo is kind of cool. But in theory, we're going to have a very high fire rate from being diamond and getting, like, uh, hit. I, th I think it's hit increases fire rate ability. But in theory, we're going to have a high fire rate. And this seems like it'll just, in the long run, uh, kill us, maybe. I don't know. I think we're supposed to skip this. These all seem pretty bad for us. Take this HP down here, though. Dog still doing... Uh, work on people. Very scary to fight the dog. So, I think we don't want to take fanfire until we have like some penetrating bullets. So let's take sniper first here. Maybe we'll see like a piercing shot, either penetration or reaper rounds, and then we'll take fanfire and try to get fusillade. That's what I'm thinking right now, at least. Okay, cool. I mean, this is this is more or less working so far. Wait, do I have a piercing shot? What do I have? Oh, I'm at half health. I have diamond. Yeah, I have the diamond passive. Duh. There's big shot. Happy to take that here. Got to be careful about the bigger explosions now, but I think we'll manage. It's piercing two with diamonds passive, I believe, if I remember correctly. So we should be careful, but we should, we're should mostly fine, I think, right now. Pretty low risk of blowing ourselves up by hitting a point blank enemy right now. But who knows? Cool, cool, cool. If you don't know, Splinter is a death sentence with this build. Uh, the bullets that Splinter creates are, in fact, grenade launcher bullets, and they will hurt us. So this will kill us. We'll take we'll take Holy Shield here. We're in a good spot for Holy Shield, I think, now. Take this. Would really like... I think I want the, uh, the damage one. I think I want the diamond passive that gives me damage. We are going to have to kill the coughing, which will be pretty tough, I imagine. I'll take Reaper rounds here. Now we'll, now we'll see. We'll take Fanfire too if we see it. I imagine that'll work pretty well here. Our damage is good. We're keeping up with the with the enemy's HP scaling. Which, by the way, I didn't realize until recently. I kind of felt like it was the case, but I didn't know. But enemies, like the the enemy types, do increase their HP as the game progresses, which is kind of weird. The little brain boys, they, they they gain they gain more HP as the as the time goes on. I don't think we need penetration. I think we have enough right now. I think we just take vitality here. Try to get that that regenerating HP sometime soon. Um, but yeah, 
the enemies the enemies do increase HP as the game progresses, which should have been obvious to me, I suppose. But it's kind of hard to gauge that sort of stuff. And I don't like making assumptions when I can help it, except for my except for my conspiracy theory. Still 100% convinced that there are certain capstone abilities that are completely locked by one of the two uh, abilities that exist before it for some reason. Anyway, gun mastery seems pretty good here. I don't love the extra piercing. It's a bit excessive at this point, but the... Listen. Bullet damage, fire rate, reload rate. All good things, so we'll take it. Weaving through. We're kind of playing like a... Uh, I, I think I said it before, but I wanted this, to, this build to be more like the shotgun build. It's kind of playing more like the crossbow run, I feel like, right now. <laughs> Which is a good thing. Like, the crossbow, I think, is pretty good. This seems like uh, a weird crossbow. I'm gonna t I don't I don't respect Frost Mage in this build, I don't think. Although, eh. Maybe we'll need it later, I don't know. Well, I think, I think it'll be good probably once we get Fusillade going. Let's take it, actually. Okay. I've convinced myself. Ooh, help. The the knockback the knockback uh, crystals you got to be careful with them because sometimes they like if an enemy is positioned in a weird spot they get knocked back like kind of towards you. In general, they're a net positive, I think. But you got to be careful. They can screw you over sometimes. We gotta be we gotta be getting as many kills here as we can because this is like the big, you know. XP round. It's probably like the most enemies on screen at a single time, I think, in the game. Death rounds probably worthwhile here. I think frostbite good too, but like I don't know, just ten additional damage seems fine. You don't need the HP or anything. Oh, there we go. Cool, cool, cool. Um. I'll take the increase in pickup range and the hopefully more shooting. Okay. I guess at this point we're down for penetration. I don't know. Seems seems like it's more or less the same. Not struggling too much here, although this man's about to touch us, it looks like. Uh, do we want to take Anger Point here to try to get Regeneration to show up? Or, ah, you know what? I'm worried about coughing. Let's take Frostbite. Okay, we lost our shield. Not a big deal, because we're at full health right now. Wouldn't hate seeing uh, Fanfire or the other one that I forget the name of now. Shoot. What is the other one called? Uh, shoot, uh, shoot behind you, maybe. Uh, shoot behind you should be fine. I think we're not at risk of getting hit by either of them. We'll take Assassin here. Oh, just walked into that. Okay, we should get Lampreys at the 10 minute mark, if I remember correctly. Thank you for all the experienced brains, but, uh... We'll take excitement too. There we go. Where are the lampreys? There they are. I see them. Okay, we'll take split fire here. If we're forced to take it, we'll take it. I, I'm pretty convinced we're at no risk of this ever hitting us, basically. For their own explosions. So it seems pretty good, actually. Yeah, that's... I mean, you know. It's a full damage shot. Hey. Back off. Now, the thing we gotta be careful about is that it's really hard to actually hit enemies with the explosions. We have so much piercing that, like... We're ba we are basically just a crossbow build. With a little bit of kick at the end of the shot. 
we're outputting pretty good damage numbers here. We're not having trouble with the lampreys, which is what I was kind of worried about. That's good news. Should be trying to probably pick up experience too if we can. I'll take haste here. Movement speed. Oh, uh, you know, actually, you'll take haste. We should be trying to focus on picking up XP from the uh, the brains. I'm sure, we missed a ton of it. I think we moved mainly to our south during that fight, so I think we should move north here and hopefully find some some goodies. We got a lot more lampreys coming, but we're more or less handling them. It looks like. I'm noticing a distinct lack of XP to our north, actually, so maybe I was wrong about that. Oh, frick, coughing's here. I didn't even realize he was hiding by... He was, he was camouflaging himself. It's very impressive. I want to try to get him in the sweet spot, so he's getting hit by the explosions. He's dead. Oh my god, that was quick. Okay. I want the damage increase one, but I I will, you know, listen, either one's fine. That is the bullet damage every time I heal. So let's take a hit. Thank you. Now we just have to get regen. Or kill enough enemies to get uh, a heart to drop. What do we got here? Um... Take Fanfire as well. Both seem pretty good. Kill Clip seems fine. But I would like I would like Fusilade if you don't mind video game. Yeah, the the Fanfire same issue or same same thing is basically never gonna hurt us with our own explosion. That's good news. I think there's more XP to our west there. We should go back for it. Looks like yeah, pretty big, big, pretty big cluster over here. I, I, I listen. I'm, I'm not. I don't know how this works, but I do wish since the lampreys were harder to kill. I wish they did have like I don't know, maybe more XP that they dropped, because it does feel like leveling up in the mid, the mid game point is so slow sometimes. But maybe that's by design. I don't know. Maybe maybe, maybe the developer wants that to be the case. Hard to say, right? I am noticing that uh, these lampreys are getting a lot closer to us, which is not good news. Also noticing a distinct lack of good upgrades here. I'll take Divine Blessing, I suppose. They just try to get Stalwart Shield to show up, but... Not impressed. Okay. Got tagged once. We're not having trouble fighting our way through though, still, which is good. We can, we can, we can. Oh, fuck my shield. We're doing a decent job of cutting a line through the enemies, but we're moving pretty slowly. They are getting close to catching up to us. So all in all, going pretty okay though. I think we got it. We just got to heal. Which means that we're doing more damage now, too, which is good. Which means we should, we should get hit on purpose here, so that way we can heal again. Very important. Oh. Did, did Fanfire get a, a Cadence buff there? Did you see that? It, felt like it, it looked like it was much bigger than normal. I don't know. Kill Club is probably pretty good here. Faster reloads probably, yeah, like, very good. Yeah, that, that seems uh, significantly important to me, at least. Yeah, now I feel like we're just putting so much downrange that no one can get close to us. Okay, we're getting pretty close to the Shogath showing up, though. I think, I think the Shogath will be pretty easy. If we can, if we can keep these at, at bay, I think we can keep the enemies during the Shogath fight at bay because they're a lot easier. It's like eyeballs and, like, explosive boys. Okay, this is working pretty well. I'm starting to worry that I might owe the grenade launcher an apology, huh? Because this is pretty sick, actually. Okay. Uh, we want regen. I'm worried about the movement speed decrease on Giant, but I think we took a movement speed increase before it, so it should be offset, hopefully. 
Oh, he's here. He's here. Where are you? There you are. I need to take a hit here. Getting laser beamed a little bit there. He's in the sweet spot. Oh. You too many eyeball boys. Let's try to get rid of them. Immediately lost my damage shield. You hate to see. I think I'll take anger, po anger point here. Please die. Okay, sick. What do you what do you got for us? What do you got for us here, game? Tome of summoning, no. Tome of elements, no. Tome of rage. I think we're still just skipping this. I don't know. I feel like the Tome of Rage is a bait still. I think like the spread's going to cause some problems. Let's run it like this. I mean, this is working. It's working pretty well. Why complicate things, right? Okay, thank you for letting me out of my cage. Pterodactyls to the south. I'm just taking hits for no reason now. I think we're pretty much in the clear, though. Aerodactyl doesn't stand a chance. Mini Clip is not. I mean, is Mini Clip good here? Nah, Mini Clip can't be good. These all suck. So I'm taking Ghost Friend because I like him. Aerodactyl down. Some HP on the left there too. Okay, this, I, I didn't get Fusillade, which is kind of annoying, but this is cool. This does feel just like a, a, a build where it just, it just explodes the whole field. That's nice. Better pick up some experience while we can up here. Mini clip, no thank you. Running gun seems pretty good, for sure. As long as I'm picking up experience, I should be effectively shooting infinity. There, there is the fusillade. Oh, there's stalwart shield too. Damn. What a shame. Oh my god. Yeah, that that's good. I st I still stand by my original statements about the grenade launcher. I think it's a wildly inconsistent weapon, but damn, when it goes, it goes, huh? This feels less like, like, like this feels less like the grenade launcher and more like Diamond just being a good character more than anything. But listen, this is sick. I'm having a great time. Get another little bit of HP back. We'll take the stalwart shield now. Damn, it's, it's, those are pretty big explosions, too. We gotta be careful, because we are almost in, like... Hit me every single shot, no matter what I do range, actually, I'm realizing. It, it, it's... <laughs> the explosions are big, huh? And they're... I feel like they're getting bigger, too. Is, it just, is that just me? I thought they only got bigger when I take damage. <laughs> What's happening here? Oh, we got lampreys in the mix now. We gotta be careful. I'm like afraid if I take like any more actual hits, I'll like, I will give myself too much bullet size and then I will be forced to kill myself with my own shots. It, it I don't, I, I'm scared, <laughs> but the build's strong. Gotta watch out for the projectiles. I guess if we, if we just constantly pick up experience, too. God, can you imagine taking mini clip here, though? I think that'd be terrible. I, just, I guess I'm just buffing Ghost Friend, because he's, 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 he's a pal. But if we just pick up experience, we never do the reload, and the thing that's most likely hitting me is, I think, the, uh, the, the fan fire. 
Do I just throw the whole run away real quick with Splinter? I don't. I'll take Glare. Anyway. Runs runs basically over. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy the video. Might be counting my chickens before they hatch. Especially considering how close these explosions are to hitting me. But, uh, yeah. Th thank you. I'll see you next time. I think we're going to try... I mean, we got the win now with the grenade launcher, so I want to move on to a different weapon, maybe. But soon we're going to do... This has to be... I mean, it is bad. But we're going to win anyway, I think, so let's just take it for fun. Like, I, I think we would actually just live. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> with the, with the, the fan fire? That's pretty funny. Vampire doesn't even do that much damage, but it's, 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 this is good. <laughs> you love to you love to see just a tiny little cluster where you're safe, and then just explosions everywhere else. Okay. Are you not entertained? Thanks for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you next time. Peace out.